Hey, what's up guys? My name is Charlie. Today we're going to be reacting to some more nostalgia critic, and it's going to be Devil. Yes, that's right. We're going to be reacting to just Devil, not the Devil, just Devil. <laughs> what a strange name. Um, but yes, I believe I've seen this movie before, wasn't it? When they were trapped on an elevator or something like that, and uh, people slowly started dying one by one. Um, it's, you know, I, I don't really remember much. It was something I was watching, I think, on, like, Netflix, and it was, like, 2 a.m. I was asleep in bed, half asleep, sort of with one eye open watching this movie. It was something I was just trying to watch while, uh, sort of slipping in and out of consciousness, you know, when I was trying to sleep. Um, but, uh, yeah, um... So, I don't really remember much all about uh, there was trapped in an elevator, people started dying. And that's really all I remember because, I, like I said, I was I was asleep, okay? I wasn't really paying attention to the movie. Um, it was uh, pretty boring. And it, 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 did, it, it did its job. It put me to sleep. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's uh, check out the video, shall we? Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I did. I, I think it was a very boring movie. It was bad. I feel it was... Um, Shamalan or something like that. Can't remember. A Lord Shamalan movie. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was. <laughs> those cone tits. <laughs> I love it's those very cone, cone tits. Characters to randomly be on an elevator. Cone boobs are the best. Oh, great nuts. This is Goit Furman, your elevator. Hi, Goit. Uh, hi. Listen, your elevator seems to be stuck. Don't you panic. Hold, sit tight and we'll have you out in a minute. <sighs> well, great. Now what do we do? Anybody got any stories? I do! It's about how I planned to take over the world by creating one monster at a time instead of building an army of them! And how I was embarrassingly defeated by a martial arts version of Glee! And then <laughs> Santa I... Christ! You must have some Santa Christ! Well, I God save us, Santa screenplay. Christ. You wrote a screenplay? Yeah, I write every morning at Starbucks. I have to justify that rewards card somehow. Well, it's about a bunch of people trapped in an elevator. Oh, I love it already. Mm. But one of them is a killer. Ooh! <laughs> yeah. And, well, the power is faulty, so every time the lights go out, the killer strikes. Yeah? So, basically, the race is on to rescue a whole bunch of claustrophobic people trapped inside an elevator before the lights go out again, and the killer picks them off one by one. Wow. Yeah! Deep. <laughs> Which is, it's Cthulhu! <laughs> okay, well, that's really dumb, because you had this ingenious idea for a setup. Building suspense and drama. Downright Hitchcockian! And then you fuck it all up by throwing in something supernatural for no reason. Mm. But people love Cthulhu. It doesn't matter if people love Cthulhu! It doesn't fit into the story! And besides, it doesn't matter. They already did something like that in M. Night Shyamalan's movie. Oh, Shyamalan. <laughs> yeah, it is a Sh Shyamalan movie, ain't it? It's probably why I watched it. While Shyamalan only worked on the story, it has his fingerprints all over it. It's got the hokey acting, the hokey writing, the hokey twist. It's got every hokey thing but the hokey pokey. Hmm. But the twist hokey pokey does represent my work pretty well. Oh really? The guy who couldn't represent Nickelodeon cartoon represents the most <laughs> evil demonic force on earth. Hey, I got an idea. While we're working on breaking you out, why don't I play the movie to keep you entertained? No! <laughs> Oh, damn. Uh, I'm sorry, you cut out there. Could you say that again? No! <laughs> Still didn't get it. Tell you what, go ahead and watch the movie until we can figure out a way to hear you back. Oh, damn. <laughs> I guess this is dumb. Okay. It's really not that bad. So our film begins with a logo that reads Night Chronicles and then the Night number Chronicles. One. Number one. Why yeah. number one? Oh, yeah. I remember this. This was the first in a series of films that Shyamalan was supposed to work on. <laughs> well, why aren't there more? Because the first one was Devil. Oh! And because hmm. Shyamalan can never start a movie without important looking text, here's some important looking text. Okay, more important text. <laughs> be sober, be vigilant, be, s be sober. No, <laughs> that's the worst. Without it, I don't think we could ever draw the conclusion I don't want to be sober. Devil is bad. 
Really? All these years and that's never come across? I need to make more Republicans. And just listen to how the music tries to scare you into what I guess is supposed to be a big reveal. Oh my god! Oh my I god, an upside down Mark, city, Mark. the horror! <laughs> oh, the possibilities this suggests. Like, maybe the projectionist passed out when he loaded the film reels. <laughs> We start with an mm, opening Jesus. narration from a security guard, once again reassuring us that the Sorry, devil sucks. My mother's Shabalab. story would always begin the same way, with the suicide, paving the way for the devil's arrival, and it would always end with the deaths of all those trapped. Hmm. Oh. And so went the financier of the last Airbender movie. <laughs> you know the main reason why people go back to drinking? The eagles? Resentment. We then cut to Detective Boat. Having a cup of coffee with his AA sponsor. You may need to finally start believing in something greater than yourself. But when I think about the guy that killed my family, I have a tough time believing in much of anything. Oh, hmm. God, are we in another Stephen King story? I mean, the lead is a recovering drunk who will partake in a lame supernatural resolution. It is pretty damn similar. Oh, boy, here we go. Got a good one for you. But they discover the truck that the man cannonballed into earlier and try to figure out what happened. Truck wasn't here when he made impact. Must have rolled. Your guy jumped from that building. What? Your dead guy turned the corner here? These things are made to bounce trucks off. Well, Jesus. God, nobody on a busy street reported a bread truck with a dead guy embedded on it like Wiley Coyote with a driver who seems to have disappeared off the face of the earth, rolling backwards into oncoming traffic, bouncing off cement blocks into a parking lot of somebody's store. Maybe they just thought it was the bread truck with a dead guy embedded on it like Wiley Coyote with a driver who seems to have disappeared off the face of the earth, rolling backwards into oncoming traffic, bouncing off cement blocks into a parking lot of some guy's store. Man. Damn. Hey, you got those in your town too? <laughs> I'm not taking the stairs Some again. Lawyers on what else am I going to do right away? Shape. Just get on the damn elevator. And I do mean damn elevator. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that's so cheap. <laughs> you hold that? that part oh, is so sorry. Bad. Thanks for your help. Don't mention it. So let's do a checklist of our cliched characters. Awkward asshole? Check. Mm. Crabby old lady? Check. Yep. Tough black guy? Check. <laughs> Generic good looking woman with little to no personality? Check. Generic good looking guy with little to no personality? Check. All that's missing is the spiritually sensitive Hispanic person! Just the salve Maria. Oh, oh, now oh, we yes. can get this party started! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I know how this movie ends. Um, I don't want to spoil it for you. I know who the killer is. Um, I do know, but I'm not going to spoil it. Oh, full house. Just in case. Queens, three jacks. I don't want to be responsible for Who spoiling says it. That? Yo, Dwight, you got a problem. Tell me about it. I'm already up on 35 fixing it. The elevator? No, the broken window. Yeah, I'm guessing either <laughs> lightning struck it, a person jumped, or it spontaneously exploded onto the street. Either way, I don't think it's worth calling the police over. Oh. Oh, hey, is that the police Damn. down there? Don't worry. Not needed. You might want to secure that better. <laughs> okay, okay. Or you might get sued. Them, so only the security team can talk to them, and not they to the security team. This gives obvious jackass plenty of time to be an obvious jackass. Well, at least we got tunes. Bum, bum, bum. Don't say <laughs> under that apple tree with anyone else but me. Come on, Grandma, you know the words. God. Anyone else but me. Don't be a jerk. Hey, come on. You try to make dialogue in a Shyamalan film sound natural. <laughs> <laughs> this is joking. Joking. Things don't help when we find out our security temp is claustrophobic. The maintenance guy can't fix the problem, and awkward McJerkoff still thinks he needs to convince us that he can play a good asshole. When we get out of here, you're gonna need a good rest. Mattress mania. That's us. Now everybody's had their mattress too long. Am I right? You didn't follow that advice about flipping it every few months. I also go door to door selling cars, life insurance, and any religion you're not a part of. Better call so. <laughs> You don't have to be as well off as this one. That's what I feel like. Is this? You better go so. <laughs> In what trouble? Well, at selling you better go so. Is I can look at a person's clothes and know exactly how much they can afford to spend. Oh, God. And you, lady, you're no super sleeper. I've also learned how to be as charming as a cactus on your gallbladder. With that said, might my humbleness interest you in a mattress? I'm the obnoxious guy. Oh. The lights start to flicker until it's totally dark. 
When they come back on, they see someone has bitten off a little bit more than they could chew. What in the world? It feels like something bit me. So, wait. The Snakes in the an elevator? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Well, it was an awkward thing. He did so. He is a sort of transformational thing. I mean, he was a snake. Sometimes wasn't he? I try less seducing the lost and wretched, and just try biting them every once in a while. You have issues. I'm I mean, the devil. He can morph into anything he wants. <laughs> I think. I mean, he morphed into like a snake. So. Oh, I think I get it. Maybe instead of the devil being the traditional devil we always think of, maybe it was always this guy the entire time. <laughs> the Tasmanian <laughs> devil. <laughs> oh, God. oh, God, not the Tasmanian I devil. Gonna call the police. So they only now call the cops, strange seeing how they know someone jumped from the building, so you'd assume they'd be there already, mm. and decide to check out the scene. 333 uh, three, three, Locust, that's gonna be right around. Why is it 333 instead of the more obvious 666? Well, yeah. seeing how Sean Why not? the story, maybe it just counts for half the evil. So, while they wait for the cops, our Hispanic guard thinks he saw something in the video footage. Well, add 333 three, three together, 3456789, okay. and then Just turn 9 around, like, no, and that stick. makes a 6. Like, so, Jesus technically, say, it's 666. Well, no, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm Wait, smart. <laughs> so the devil shows Not that smart, but you get it. Security cameras? <laughs> it's not uncommon. I have a pretty profile. You should have seen the ones I used in the paranormal activity movies. Oh, damn. <laughs> The lights go off again, only this time a mirror breaks and one of the shards flies into Mr. Asshat. Eh, to be fair, he is going uh, out of his performance. That's fine. Pain in the fucking neck. 602, we have a possible 187. I need backup. So, of course, there's only one logical explanation for all of this. You must consider that one of those people might be the devil. Oh. <laughs> this guy's been smoking really? some serious Just coffee like fumes. Devil? <laughs> Not leaving it open for more plausible options like the Great Pumpkin or the Flying Spaghetti Monster. It's Flying Spaghetti Monster. Real? Real? I'm real? a part of that judge, by the way. The devil's meat. I've got the. What, no. what proof the does certificate. he have that the devil is near? Oh, turn up the volume for this one. Maximize the frame. Draw all your attention to the screen. No, get close. Get close. Really get close. This has to be seen and heard with the utmost clarity to be believed. Okay, movie. What's your proof? What are you, what are you doing? Oh, really throwing a piece of toast? toast? Falls jelly side down. Oh my God! Seriously? Yes. You <laughs> really? The jelly side to down. That the the proof. Is, near, is taking a piece of toast, putting jelly on it. Throwing it up in the air and seeing if it lands jelly side. <laughs> What's down. he gonna do with a pizza? Fucking pepperoni goes on the floor. All due respect. <laughs> what a Writer, load of bullshit. Of this movie. <laughs> Did you drink as a fetus? <laughs> I don't know how you would accomplish that, but it's the only way I can comprehend writing this spectacularly stupid. Yeah. Jelly side down equals devil. Are you fucking That's kidding? Just... Is this a Tested method? One that's really valuable? Is this the method the Vatican uses? <laughs> leaders all come together to test the devil's arrival? So from Brett. <laughs> so in conclusion to our weekly Kitchen of Demonic Testing research, we have discovered that the cream in the coffee has swirled in the right direction, the chocolate icing on the donut was equally distributed, <laughs> and the mustard in the ham sandwich on the fry did oh, not God. drip all the way to the floor. All that remains, Jesus. of course, is our beloved toast test. <laughs> and seeing how we've been doing this for 180 years, and not once has it ever landed on the wrong side, <laughs> I think we can all get ready to go while I perform this last one. No, oh, the Antichrist. <laughs> Jelly side down.
fucking ridiculous. Actually, yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. Bad, the jelly side down test isn't a bad one. Oh, bull crap! Santa Christ, do you have a piece of toast with jelly on it? Of course <laughs> I do. I'm Santa Christ. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> Best out of three. Oh, now what? I like the, the thing that keeps hitting Santa Christ in the head. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, sure. Just because I'm the devil, everyone assumes I did it. <laughs> How do I know neither of you did it? Nostalgia critic. You hate the Power Rangers. Yeah, but not enough to kill a cast member. Unless it was Alpha. And Santa Christ, you fight monsters just for fun. You could be just as guilty. And we do that on Thursdays. <laughs> Bad <Busy> Santa. <laughs> Everybody in this elevator is a suspect. Hey, are people killing one another in there? Yeah. Stop that. I don't know. I think the suspect might be those nostalgia critic glasses. <laughs> it might come back alive and start poking things in the eye. I don't know. God knows. Okay. What do you say we just finish the review without any more necrity? Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> right, so you the detective dispose goes of the up body. to the broken window <laughs> to see if the jumper and the killer in the elevator have any connection. Can you take a look at the suicide note? Most of it makes sense, but then it ends with, I can hear the devil's footsteps drawn here. Oh, Jesus. Usually suicide notes are either all crazy or all rational, but this one's both. Oh, yeah. Just like that totally crazy one I read last week that said Duck Duck Orange Juice Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, or the totally Jesus. rational one I came across the other week that listed the scientific and mathematical equations about <laughs> why the suicide by. happened. Mixing the two? <laughs> no. Oh, damn. <sighs> Back on Lord of the Floors, we see the lights go out again, leading to more mayhem. This on? is just... Wow. <sighs> so... The devil looks like a TP'd uh, version so of Jack Skellington? Yeah, well, what? <laughs> it scares kids at birthday parties. The devil has many forms. <laughs> and while the lights go out, it looks like Grandma didn't want to hang around anymore. Oh, well, I'll oh, tell you, well. those bowels are going to be evacuating any time, and I'm not going to want to be in this elevator then. <laughs> so one of the guards goes to see if he can fix the wire. The other two cops go searching for more information on who the killer could be, mm. leaving who to look after the elevator? Of course. That's right. Crazy Toast Man, of course. Oh yeah, that's a smart idea. Put the guy you declared was insane <laughs> in charge of a box of people going insane and killing one another. That's like putting the human torch in charge of keeping 50 bags of popcorn kernels from popping. You <laughs> yeah. know something's gonna blow. He's but come on, in this time of raging emotions and uneasy nerves, surely he won't do anything to make it worse. Dios te salve Maria. Llena eres de gracia. Oh, that's just fucking great, asshole. That'll totally calm him down. Why don't you just pop in a CD playing Let the Bodies Hit the Floor while you're at it? <laughs> oh, you don't know that. Maybe somebody praying for their immortal souls will make them feel better. Yep, probably not. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> oh Christ, why haven't we fired you yet? <laughs> away from each other now! Get off! We're gonna keep you safe, and here's how. Everyone get to a corner and place your hands on the wall. Do it! And whoever the killer is, really think about what you've done. <laughs> just shut up. Go in your naughty corner. So, who do we turn to to finally start making sense of all this? <laughs> Crazy Toast Man, of course! In a hypothetical conversation that I'm not really having. How would this story of yours end? They all die. That's it? Well, one survives. Spoiler alert, sorry. Well, let's wrap up here, man. Hell, Loco Diablo says there's nothing we can do. But, sir, what evidence do you have of that? The toast landed jelly side down. Jelly side down? Ah! They made the choices that brought them here. So the reason Crazy Toast Man thinks they're all gonna die is that after doing more research, it turns out all of them have a criminal past. So the devil, obviously instead of killing them in an unsuspicious, quiet, non-camera recording way, decides to draw out the taking of these random five people as slowly as fucking possible. Mm -hmm. And turn. <laughs>
You took an entire day and all this effort just to take down five people who you could have wow. taken down in a millisecond? I'm you could have wiped out the fucking planet. And subtle I am. You're about as secret and subtle as the Matrix. <laughs> as secret and subtle as a fucking font in the breeze. This is just bullshit. Up. And are there really only five people in the entire world going to hell today? Really? Fucking five? By God, their crimes range from bank fraud to pickpocketing. Mm. Nobody else in the entire world has done anything Seriously, worse than this. There are much worse of people out there that need to be punished. Day. You know how some companies have funny hat day or casual clothes day? I have stupid day where I pick one day and don't do anything that makes sense whatsoever. Hmm. I do that all the time. <laughs> Made bowls of oatmeal more frightening than him. So since the maintenance heard more guy farts, more off scary. Well, because, you know, a building this big would only have one maintenance guy. One of the guards goes to see if he can fix the elevator. I might have found the problem. The bad wire looks like it could be shorting out the circuits. Okay, why is it in movies all the important wires and buttons that make <laughs> everything work are always put in rooms that have no fucking lights? <laughs> yeah. You want to see what you're doing when you're fiddling with this incredibly important stuff? Mm. Oh, hey, what does this button do? Oops. He sees one of the wires is cut and caught in a puddle of water. And rather than go to the firefighters we clearly establish have been here for some time, he tries to fix it himself. What an oh, idiot. Yeah, like this is gonna... Message for you, huh? Cool. <laughs> as an especially tough blow when they realize the husband of the woman in the elevator might own the security team of the building, meaning that the temp might be the killer. Sarah Carraway's husband doesn't own Carraway security, does he? Meet me in the office. We'll be next to me. I'll keep you safe. Now, of course, this could have been an ingenious move in keeping the yep. audience guessing and on their toes, except for one simple fact. They that just had to screw it all up. That that's probably not it. You called your movie Devil! Yeah. You're constantly given away that the and is the you devil. You showed like How a. Did you think you were going to fool us with this? A wasp mask sort it's of like thing. It's like a wolfman so... trying to trick us that the killer in the movie is fucking Dracula. <laughs> we kind of know going in, guys. Yeah, it's all spoils all. Kind of spoiled it. You could have made a great movie. Oh, you mean he wasn't the killer? This movie oh, totally what a shot! <laughs> <laughs> so only two remain. Each one thinking that the other's the killer. I should kill you right now. I should kill you right now before you try anything else. I should kill you right now. And what'll be your defense? Huh? Wee! <laughs> <laughs> what a predicament! <laughs> what a predicament! Yeah, that's pretty much it. This is what he does. He wants us to die. Oh. Jeez, will you shut up, crazy toast man? How would I do it? According to your story, how would I save them? Oh, for the love of me! Uh, for the love of toast! Attention? Hey, come on. He's a good press agent. Yeah, for the dumbest, most inconsistent devil ever! Just what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that I've seen games of risk with faster strategies than yours! Well, yeah? Well, at least I'm still alive in this death machine. <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> Oh damn! Got you like an Arctic seal. <laughs> Dance on Santa Christ. We all know it was you. He's gonna pull out your candy cane. <laughs> or he's gonna chop off your candy cane. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, okay. Look, maybe the answers are in the rest of the movie. Perhaps we should watch the rest of it. Maybe we can find out what's going on. I'm gonna put down my gun. You put down your candy stick. Oops, candy stick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a very silly ending. It's ridiculous. But then it is. It's a movie called Devil, and it is a Shyamalan okay. movie. So. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Can't expect much. Oh. So to calm the two down, the cop tells them a story about how he almost lost himself to alcohol after his family died in a hit. Just gonna get and that they have a choice to do the right thing. And that works great. For about two seconds. So, just when it looks like it's revealed who the killer is, get a load of this. Oh, come yep. on! 
Spoiler alert, it was her all the time. So the old lady is yeah. the devil. How is that a good twist? We were never made I wasn't going to say that because that I wasn't going to spoil possible. it for you, but In the sixth sense, spoiler. there were clues and a scenario that made it clear the twist could happen in this setup. Here, they're just making There's up just the rules nothing. as they go. Yeah, it's just... Oh, well, you didn't predict it, so it must be a good twist. No. Well, I wouldn't be able to predict if they all turned into snowman of George Decay. <laughs> but that doesn't mean it's good. <laughs> It'd be more entertaining than this, but it definitely oh, wouldn't boy. be good. Are you ready for your turn, Anthony? The whores, the liars, the cheats, and the deserters. It's always the same thing. And why the hell is she giving him a talking to when she clearly never did with any of the other victims? Mm. Is the devil all this time really just your angry mother trying to ball you out? <laughs> Take me instead. You think this will make you good? You're not good. Yeah, maybe it's a random contrived way to give uh, this guy boy. a chance to redeem himself. Who knows? I, I, I Maybe the devil's and tired and of punishing people, so he's just trying to, of course to the trying to give it a skip. What else? That he was the guy who committed the hit and run that killed the cop's family. Mm. What an unbelievable coincidence! Don, don, don. You think you can be forgiven? Well, wouldn't you know it, confessing his crime wins him a get out of hell free card and the devil lets him go. Leaving God knows how much surveillance footage, fingerprints, mm. and testimonials that the devil <laughs> is the worst kept demonic secret the world has ever known. Damn. I really wanted you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to go make what the fuck say a big hit. Where'd you go? Yeah, this movie is find just her, bad. It had a, such a good thing, being stuck in the elevator. Oh, come on. And of course, in the world of rushed whatever endings, the cop finds it in his heart to quite instantly forgive the survivor. I've been waiting for this moment for five years. All the things I'd say to you. I forgive you. No. Oh, my okay. wife before she died told me to swing away, which prevented an alien. <laughs> swing well, away. <laughs> sure. Sides. <laughs> what the fuck? Right off, the city is swing no away. longer upside down, but instead uh, right side up. Swing away. <laughs> Ask me what it means. Ask me what it I means. I don't know what the oh! fuck it means. Well, at least we got through this movie together, Santa Christ. Maybe his world's finally turned up <gasps> the right way around. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Where's the clues of who you really were? Where's the deductive reasoning? I am still the master of twists. If you could think up a better one for my movie, I'd like to hear it. Well, how about if Crazy Toast Guy was the devil? That's a good... Actually, that's kind of brilliant. He yeah. <laughs> how the works. He could do it all without getting caught. There's not a ton of video footage of him prancing around like a paparazzi whore. Enough. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of a good... like you pointing out that I have any weaknesses. We're Lord Shyamalan movies don't have Shyamalan. any weaknesses. <laughs> oh, hell, Shyamalan. <laughs> oh, Santa Christ, save us. Our Lord and Savior. Oh, God. What the hell? Exactly. Wait, so the devil wasn't the devil, the devil was Santa Christ? That sounds needlessly complicated. Can I steal that? <laughs> I was waiting for him to reveal himself so I could send him back to hell. Oh god, uh. so you don't really do any of that stuff in the movie, do you? No, that would be unbelievably stupid. <laughs> Thank god, because this movie makes no sense. Mm. Yeah, it's just if bad. it was just a thriller about people stuck in an I like the theater, idea it though. Had a better chance. In the Both elevator, the yeah. Decent, but they had to add and this the supernatural shit to it. And, and it destroyed it. But when you throw in lame dialogue with lame story elements and, of course, a lame supernatural element that mm. weakens the suspense more than heightens it, you get a clumsy, unfinished mess. And it's definitely one I'm glad to be done with. <laughs> hey! You folks all right in there? 
It's okay, sweetie. You can cut out the voice now. Okay. Whew, that was starting to hurt my throat. Okay, now why don't you be a darling and lower us down to the main floor? Okay! Let me guess the main floor to hell. <laughs> uh, no, I think you might want to try the yellow one. Or maybe the left or right. No, your upper. <laughs> It looks like we're going to have to jump on the floor. Um, help me pry open these doors, will you? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm the stop trick. I remember it so you don't have to. Ooh, this floor has a pool. One, two, three, jump! <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> <laughs> silly. So silly. But I like it. Oh boy, that was totally awesome. Okay, <laughs> it's a little bit bonus. Oh boy. What now? <laughs> Everything's going according to plan. People love Cthulhu. <laughs> Alright. When he's near, Toast falls jelly side down. <laughs> to falls jelly side down. Oh god, that's so silly. Uh, okay, that's the end of the video. That was uh, Devil. Um, you know what? I mean... Yeah, uh, th 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 this is just um, a very painful, very bad sort of terrible movie. But you know what? It could have been great. It could have been truly great. Because if you actually think of the concept, um, st stuck in an elevator, people dying one by one. I, I kind of like that idea because you sort of have to play like the guess who sort of sort of game. You know, who who's the killer? Um um, so I, I like the concept that's very fascinating and interesting and I've got to give it credit however they had to fuck it all up with uh, the supernatural shit you know like tricking you into thinking like someone is the, the killer you know they, they could have gone around so so many different paths I'm just thinking if, if I'm just thinking how would I do it and you know if, if it, it was me sort of making this uh, movie Honest to God, I would have um, made it uh, logical and sensical. I wouldn't add the supernatural. Um, I mean, because you saw, you know, you you know he's not the killer because you saw the devil like bee mask thing. So it just sort of breaks the sort of reality and immersion. I just don't get it. It it truly is bad. I just no, you can't. You, sort of trick people it's not tricking anyone who the hell is it tricking it's sure shit ain't tricking me i didn't think oh he must be the killer i never thought that because i saw the fucking unless he took off and put on the bees mask very fast and then took it off i mean it's just it's just so so silly and bad and it could have been great and that's what's so upsetting and that's so what's so frustrating because this actually could be really good just think of it uh you know stuck in an elevator one of them's a killer um and you don't know who it is and it could have been a great detective where you know a great story great characters and i'm just thinking of all the ways this could have been a great movie a bit like um the cube uh for those who have haven't seen that as a as a good movie it's great um you got like the cube um it's a it's a it's a truly great uh movie for those who know what i'm talking about the cube when they're stuck in a like a, a cube <laughs> and they can't get out and every room's a trap i absolutely fucking love that movie and it was like cube zero as well so i'm like, like cube two 
uh, Hypercube or something like that, and then it was like Cube uh, Zero. I don't know. It was like three movies of them. Um, but it was a great thing. It was awesome. It was amazing. It was wondrous. It was full of questions, mysterious. And I kind of like that aspect that they're trapped in, uh, you know, a place and they can't get out and it's all going to hell. And I, I like that concept. But you know, with the elevator, it could have been replicated as well. But they they fucked it all up. They really did. They could have made a great movie, and that's why I'm upset because this could have been amazing. And I don't think we're ever gonna get anything like this again, where people are trapped in the elevator. And you gotta guess who the killer is. I don't think we're ever gonna get something like this. And maybe there is. Um, but yeah, I don't think it will be. I think it's just spoiled it for me. It's uh, sort of just killed the entire uh sort of guessing game but uh yeah i'm just upset and disappointed because this really could have been good and that's what pisses me off um but uh yeah that was devil um not the devil just devil <laughs> but uh yeah i mean jesus uh have mercy that uh, jelly on toast throwing it upside down um I, I just don't understand. But then again, you know, there's a lot of people say they see Jesus Christ on their slice of toast. So I don't know. You know, at this point, who the fuck knows? You know, <laughs> I mean, put God in heaven's probably going around saying, hey, I, I got to I got to show up on a piece of toast. <laughs> you know, I mean, geez, I, I don't know. Honest to God, uh, I don't know if that is, you know, throwing a piece of jelly toast upside down and if it falls upside down flat on the for, I mean, that's just absolutely ridiculous. Maybe it's like with water pouring, uh, it goes the opposite direction clockwise or something like that. That's normally said with evil magic or stuff like that. Um, but I, I like that. But with a, a jelly toast, seriously, you might as well have said, it, here's a pepperoni pizza. If I throw it and it lands on the floor on pepperoni side, then there's the devil. Yeah, the evil magic's in the air. I mean, it's silly. Come on. But it could have been much more better. It could have been done better. But this was this was clearly just, I don't know, bad. But then again, it's a Lord Shyamalan movie. Oh, <laughs> Shyamalan Deliverance. But uh, yeah, God, Jesus. I'm just pissed that it could have been better. But that's my rambling and ranting over. Uh, yeah, so uh, if you like this video, make sure to give a like, comment down below. And make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>